Welcome to the Project Management Nation. In this video, we're going to write a project report. Actually, we're not going to do it. We're going to use ChatGPT to generate a project report. We're going to see what it can do, how well it writes, how many details it can pick up, those types of things. Okay, ChatGPT, you've heard about it. We've used it on other videos here in the Project Management Nation, but we are going to test its capabilities related to report writing. We're gonna give it some basic information and see what it can do. All right, here we are at ChatGPT. Here's our search window. We are gonna ask it to generate a project report. Uh, write a project report. Okay, that's generic. So I expect we'll get something rather um, generic that we can use as a template. And here it goes. So it's got the the title. So it's given itself the AI powered customer service chatbot. So it's, it's, it created its own project title. It gave us an introduction. It's working on the objectives. So that's pretty cool. It's giving us a template. We'll have to replace all of the contents of this, but it's a, it looks like it's a, turning out to be an okay outline, probably too detailed for the types of project reports that I am used to sending. I find that stakeholders have um, very limited bandwidth. They don't like to uh, read long reports. So this is gonna be a little bit too long from what I like, but um, it's giving us some interesting uh, uh, ideas for where to go with it. So there we go. It's on its conclusion. Um, it's still generating, though. Oh, it's going on to recommendations now, regular updates to improve chatbots tra training data. So it really it's just looks like a project report about its own, about itself. Okay, so now it's completed. So let's give it some more details. Write a project report for, let's give it a name, Project uh, Gemini. Uh, let's tell it uh, the budget is, say $2 million and is uh, on track. The Goal, the objective of the project is to, I don't know, what, what shall our project be about today? Um, uh, re, is to replace old security technology with the latest technology to prevent hacking. Okay, uh, scope is on track, schedule is behind by more than 30 days, the team is understaffed. Okay, let's see what it can do with those details. Put that in, it's thinking, it's thinking. Okay, project report for Project Gemini. It picked up the title. Project Gemini is aimed at replacing old security technology with the latest. Okay, so it kind of just used my own words. Replace the old security technology to prevent hacking. Okay, Pro budget for Project Gemini on track. Okay, scope is on track and all planned activities or tasks are being executed per plan. Schedule is behind by more than 30 days. The delay is due to understaffing the project. Taking measures to mitigate the delay. Good. Uh, it's kind of repeating the same things. It's working closely with the HR department. That They don't typically provide the staffing, so we'll have to take that out. Conclusion. Okay, so it's just kind of regurgitating the, the, the few details that I gave it. So the project team should be strengthened with additional resources. Like it. Okay, it's actually providing a real recommendation based on the limited detail we gave it. 
Uh, the project schedule should be closely monitored and measured to prevent further delay. Yes, regular updates um, should be shared with stakeholders. It's a crucial problem. Okay. All right. So that's that's not a bad update, all things considered. It was a lot of regurgitation of the things that uh, I put in. Um, let's, let's give it some additional instruction. Write a brief project update for stakeholders for Project Gemini. We're going to put that in lowercase, see if it'll capitalize it. Uh, and let's give it some different statistics. So um, budget is 2 million, Oop, 200 million. Okay, well, let's go with that. 200 million, and we are going over budget. We are attempting to um, determine how much more budget we need. Schedule is also uh, running over by 60 days. Uh, goal of the project is to replace old security technology to prevent man in the middle attacks. Uh, what else can we say about the project? Um, we need stakeholder approval to uh, increase budget by the amount we determine. Okay, let's see what it does. I'm curious to see if it'll pick up on brief. Dear stakeholders, I'm right. Okay, so this is more of a letter style. I'm writing to provide an update on Project Gemini, which aims to replace the old security technology to prevent man and little attacks. Currently over budget in the process. Okay, so it's regurgitating the language we gave it. So it's providing good detail. Um, we will keep you updated. Okay, I like that. Thank you for your continued support. Okay, so this is more of an email. So that's that's okay. Wasn't expecting that. It kind of changed. I guess the difference between an update and a report to it um, changed the format uh, of this a little bit. So the conclusion that I come to with chat GPT and its report writing is that the better the information you give it, the better the report's going to come out. Um, I'm going to play with it in the future to see if we can get it to do red, yellow, green status uh, type reporting. Um, but where I see this being really valuable is if you have just some very basic information about your project, it can throw out a template that you can use to further modify and really put together a, a a decent report. Um, if you are not uh, a native English speaker or you need it in another language, um, that's something we'll explore later because I believe it can do uh, other languages. Um, this might be a good way for you to um, help structure your, your report, give it the basics and let it um, put something out. I don't see any um, blatant language problems with the information that it put in. Um, again, would just need to be edited for yourself. So uh, this could be a time saver for you uh, for project writing, which I think is really quite phenomenal. But we're going to keep going on this in, in future videos and take a look at uh, uh, just how good we can uh, get it to create project reports. Thank you for listening. All right, I, I hope that you enjoyed the content of that video and that it was useful uh, for you. Please like and subscribe. Also, please put in the comments, any uh, comments you have, any thoughts, expand the ideas that I presented. Um, also, if you've got ideas for other videos, please let me know. 
Right now, I'm gonna take a, a second to do a shameless plug. A couple of years ago, I wrote a book. I was fortunate enough to have it picked up by a publisher. It's called The MBA Distilled for Project and Program Professionals. And it talks about uh, the experience that I had getting my MBA while being a project and program manager. It covers all of the core MBA courses from uh, corporate strategy to finance, accounting, economics, and it takes the learnings from the MBA program and applies it to our profession. Uh, I really enjoyed writing the book. I think there's a lot of uh, great um, uh, skills that we can apply to our profession in it. My favorite chapter, though, is the very last chapter. And if you are a project or program professional and you're thinking about getting your MBA, you're going to want to read that chapter. It will help you to decide. I believe in the power of the MBA and that it can be a real career booster, but not for everybody. And I talk through all of my logic as to why. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video.